New 2018 Kia Seed, first look inside family hatch. Interior of Kia's third-generation Seed range spied as brand plans a crossover SUV and a Mercedes CLA-inspired shooting brake estate. The third generation of the Kia Seed is due to be shown at the forthcoming Geneva Motor Show, and now spy photographers have given us our first look inside the new VW Golf and Ford Focus rival. Grabbed during a break in the car's winter test program, the latest image shows that Kia plans to bring the seat up to date by offering a larger infotainment display, and by relocating it from halfway up the center console to a more elevated position, where it will be flanked by a pair of air vents. The rest of the test mules cabin looks suitably well used, although the car's steering wheel looks chunkier than on the current seat, and there also appears to be a speaker embedded into the top of the dashboard. Sockets for USB, Oxen and an SD card are also visible, at the base of the center console. The third generation seat will expand to include not only a new family hatch, but a new seat crossover and shooting brake. Internally, Kia is referring to 2018 as the year of the seat with the standard 5-door hatchback quickly being followed by a hot GT version next summer. In a bid to cater to growing niche markets a conventional sports wagon estate will also be joined by Mercedes CLA rivaling shooting brake model. The other new addition to the range will be a crossover aimed at taking on the Mercedes GLA, while the three-door hatch is likely to be dropped due to weak demand. Speaking to Kia's marketing boss, Artur Martins, he told us, seat is not only about the mainstream five-door body type. That will be the first one to come, but the rest of the range will fit the needs of specific consumers in the C-segment. The importance of the base car is crucial, Martins added. But then you have derivatives, specs, and even additional body types that might address specific needs. There is a huge trend for crossovers. We have a very strong SUV in the C-segment with Spartage, but the crossover market is another option. Things like the Mercedes, GLA and CLA shooting brake, there are a lot of opportunities. I think we should use those to differentiate ourselves from a body style perspective. Despite still being more than a year away, we've already seen the standard hatchback testing on European roads. The totally revamped seat follows the recent launch of Kia's new Rio Super Mini, but even under heavy disguise it's evident that the new hatchback will take many of its design cues from its smaller sibling. Familiar LED daytime running lights and a more upright bonnet can be spotted under the wrapping, as can the Korean brand's trademark Tiger Nose Grille. Martins told us, the five-door hatch is the five-door hatch, it will not be very different to what you know. We are going to have very big improvements over the old hatch, but we need to look at it with a broader perspective to see how seed as a range can fit all the needs of consumers in that segment. Keen observers will spot a similar window line to the new Hyundai i30. It's not a coincidence, the two models will be heavily related once again as part of the Hyundai Group's shared platforms, with the seat set to use the i30's underpinnings and many of the same turbo petrol and diesel engines. Martins denied any chance of a Toyota rival the recently announced i30 Fastback Coupe, however. Inside, we're expecting a jump in quality and technology to bring the seat in line with the newer Spartage and Nero SUVs as it is expected to share similar dimensions to the i30 with a longer, wider and lower body, the Kia's legroom and boot space should increase as a result. Are you looking forward to the new Kia Seed? Let us know in the comments section below.